In this video we will talk about WP custom admin interface plugin. It has 30,000 plus active installations as of now. Hi, my name is Pankaj Solanki and I am a WordPress developer from Creative Protein. So let's add the plugin. Let's activate it. Before I proceed further, let me make sure that you understand this. This plugin is only for website developers. If you are not developing websites, then maybe it's not much useful to you okay so how can you use this you can use wordpress on your client websites and edit wordpress backend in the way that you want you can change colors images login etc and it will look very personalized to your client this way you will get more customers and the admin interface will be less confusing basically so let's look at the settings this is how it looks I'll go for general settings. So let's see what we get here. Message from the developer. Let's close this one. And there is a custom admin interface pro plugin. You can also check it out. I'll show you what it has in a minute. So first it is talking about login screen background color. Login screen means when I go to login page, how does it look? It looks like I am using a WordPress software, right? So what can we do? We will go for red color. Let's use this one. Text color will be white. Login logo will be. Let's use this one. And login logo URL. Uh, let's use creativopro.com. Okay. Custom favicon. I can again. Right now it is using jump favicon okay so let's use this tab and i can also use the same favicon on front end let's use this one and custom footer text this means this text here version admin inf i can show you here it's not showing otherwise in previous versions it used to show thanks for choosing wordpress or something like that i can use here thanks for choosing creative Opera let's go for remove version number this will be removed remove admin toolbar this is admin toolbar remove this from all front end users yes we can also disable automatic updates so that client site doesn't get automatically updated and cause issues same for plugin updates and gutenberg editor so let's save then a huge problem for website developers is adding custom code we add custom code to uh, theme settings additional css but sometimes client changes the theme by mistake or a new update can disrupt this code so this plugin has given us a css section to add admin css codes again css section for login area code and we can also use javascript and jquery code for wordpress admin this is very 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 useful otherwise we have to use php hooks so custom php in wordpress we could add these codes in functions.php or here i prefer here and same implement it for everyone else this is how it will be activated and you can also add exceptions like this user will not see this or like that so let's remove exception and save by doing these two things you can already see that the login screen is different now if I click here, it takes to Creative Pro website. You can customize it according to your needs. Same for thanks for choosing Creative Pro. You can see it here at the bottom. So far, so good. Let's come to custom code front end. It has given me an option to add CSS code to the front end of the WordPress and same for JavaScript jQuery. Very, very, very useful. Otherwise, we had to use another plugin to add custom codes. This plugin brings it all together. Let's go to maintenance page. A lot of times when we as website builders build websites, then we have to enable maintenance mode till the site is complete. So again, we, we would use uh, maintenance mode by seed prod or something like that but if you are using this plugin it has inbuilt feature just enable it and add your custom message okay 
if i save it here you can see that if i open the site now it shows come back soon message very useful and you can also add a date and maintenance mode will turn off on that date very useful let's go to the custom dashboard widget so what will it do let's go to dashboard on dashboard you see a lot of widgets at a glance is okay we can turn them all off so this message will be displayed there creative pro is one click away thanks for choosing us get in touch with us if you need any help you can add your website details here and save and now if i refresh it you will see a custom message very good let's move on to color scheme as you know for all user profiles we get different color schemes these are default color schemes you can also define another color scheme here okay i'll move on now admin menu so this is called admin menu we can show or hide different options so let's say this is dashboard i don't want to show it i can just hide it by clicking on the i button same for extra settings i don't want my client to disrupt extra settings post i can give them access media pages comments no and same for elementor as you can see elementor then templates this one will be turned off then wp forums this one will be turned off appearance plugins users tools general settings and settings of this plugin i'll keep it on for now otherwise i'll not be able to disable these settings and you need to use every one option here and save settings i will now refresh it you can see all the options are gone so this is how you customize admin menu i'll make them there is also simple option to use restore to default wordpress menu very useful when you want to revert the changes restore to default settings and we will have to save options or i can just use implement this for no one and it will be gone let's refresh now very good same for admin toolbar so this is called admin toolbar so same similarly i can also turn them off and let me show you i can also add different menu items here same for menu items instead of hiding i can also add another menu item and separator so let's come back to toolbar and i can just hide them let's use everyone and it also gives me an option to disable this custom toolbar that i have selected on front end also let's go for it let me refresh as you can see the wordpress icon is gone i'll go for no one let's refresh and you can see the wordpress icon is back this is how you can customize let's go to admin notice so as you can see there are some admin notices here i can turn them off and i can add my own notice i can use similar dismissible let's do this and i can click on save all settings if i refresh now you will notice that there is this green alert this is dismissible so i can click here otherwise if i turn this off the message will be shown forever no way to dismiss it okay so let's move on to plugin section even if some plugins are active i can just not show them on the page use this only when you are showing plugins page if you are hiding the plugins page this does not make sense okay let's go to users as a website developer uh, you do want to have your admin user account here but you can also hide it so that the client won't be able to see it communicate it clearly so that you have set expectations so let's move on to the sidebars in website you do have sidebar areas for example this has main sidebar which does work on blog pages here on sideways let me show you 
so this is main sidebar it will show up here okay and then there is header section this here then there is footer builder 1 2 footer builder 1 is this one and footer builder 2 is this one so i can disable these as well not much useful because these all can be now customized by elementor hide meta is a premium feature what it does is if you go to editing a post you see different meta boxes publish format categories tags attributes so this option can disable these so that your client can get a clean editing area so to use this you will need custom admin interface pro let's go to manage settings so once you have found a perfect settings mixture you can just export the settings and use them for all client sites this will save a lot of time and it also gives the ability to delete plugin settings when deactivating and delete very useful and finally if you get stuck somewhere you can also help the plugin developer proper instructions are given so this plugin has saved us a lot of time and we are consistently using it for our client sites i hope you found this tutorial helpful let's now talk about custom admin interface pro plugin so it gives seven great features multiple menu toolbar notices etc by default in free version we can only use one notice one toolbar one menu etc so if you need multiple menus etc then use premium version another cool feature is if you by mistake change something you can also revert back to the old settings new design is also added for premium members in some cases you also get more settings to add different codes etc you can import export only features that you want and you can also restrict permissions to only admins or you can also add a new user role for developer and only that person can change plugin settings and performance wise also the plugin the premium version is faster so this is the tutorial for custom admin interface plugin now that the tutorial is over i have a question for you do you want to get more website development clients and is your website delivery process good enough for your clients do you want to speed up secure update your client websites regularly you can book a zoom call and get in touch with us we can collaborate and help you in all these aspects thank you and i'll see you in my next video